Charles Martinet is out as the voice of Mario. This has to be the biggest shakeup since the Nixon administration. So what's gonna happen to Mario now? Is he not gonna say anything? Is he gonna go back to the old school Brooklyn accent? Is Chris Pratt taking over as the voice? So if you haven't seen, Nintendo recently put out a tweet or a post on X, whatever, reading this. We have a message for fans of the Mario Kingdom. Please take a look. Now, when I first saw that headline, I thought, oh boy, something's getting delayed. Mario Wonder's not coming out till 2024 now. People are gonna be upset. Or Mario RPG, the game that fans have been waiting for 20 years on, getting delayed. But no, it's not that, thankfully. So what they've written is, Charles Martinet has been the original voice of Mario in Nintendo games for a long time, as far back as Super Mario 64. Charles is now moving into the brand new role of Mario Ambassador. With this transition, he will be stepping back from recording character voices for our games, but he'll continue to travel the world sharing the joy of Mario and interacting with you all. It has been an honor working with Charles to help bring Mario to life for so many years, and we want to thank and celebrate him. Please keep an eye out for a special video message from Shigeru Miyamoto and Charles himself, which we will post at a future date. So there you have it, Charles Martinet, no longer the voice of Mario, which is really weird, but also inevitable. Charles is 67 years old. He obviously can't be doing the voice forever, so this had to come eventually. And it's important to remember that Charles Martinet doesn't just voice Mario, but also Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. So this isn't just affecting the main character, it's actually affecting a sizable portion of the main Mario cast. But let's break down this message bit by bit. So first of all, he's stepping into the brand new role of Mario Ambassador. So I'm guessing he's going to be representing Nintendo at the White House on the topic of Mario games. So that'll be cool to see him and Biden shaking hands, hanging out in the Oval Office. No, what I think this means is I think it's just sort of an honorary title. Basically, they're going to be paying him to just be Charles Martinet. And even though he's not continuing to be the voice of Mario, he'll still be known as the voice of Mario. Not only as the guy who provided the voice, but the guy who came up with the voice. And I think the biggest reason that Nintendo is going to keep Charles Martinet in this role is actually to have some degree of control over him. And I know that sounds dystopian, but by keeping him on the payroll, they are able to control what he does in public and what other jobs he takes, because he is an actor, so he would be well within his rights to go look for other work. And with him being a totally free agent, that means he could end up in a Viagra commercial or something, which <laughs> Nintendo definitely does not want the voice of Mario and ending up somewhere not super appropriate for children. So keeping him as an employee, they are able to prevent things like that. So you'll probably see him at Nintendo events like E3 or the Nintendo Live thing that's been going on. Maybe if they have another tournament, like another Nintendo World Championships, he'll be there as the Mario ambassador. I doubt he's like sitting behind a desk working 10 hours a day, writing reports on Mario games <laughs> or anything. Like this is not a real job. This is a title that he's being given and probably getting a good paycheck to just be him. With this transition, he will be stepping back from recording character voices for our games. Now that is interesting. So what does this mean for the future of Mario games? Honestly, not that much. Because obviously Mario isn't someone with big long monologues or anything. It's just a lot of yippee, wahoo, let's go. I think what's likely is that they have a bunch of voice clips already recorded for future Mario games and they'll just continue to use those. There's been a lot of talk about AI voice acting in games and other media recently. I don't think Nintendo is going to be doing that. Not because they wouldn't, but because they aren't aware aware of it yet. Nintendo is just perpetually 10 years behind technology wise. They haven't even heard of AI. So if they knew about it, if someone told them about how AI voices could work, they totally would use it for future Mario games using his voice as the baseline. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. Could it just be a new voice actor doing the same voice? Yeah, it also could be. Mario's voice is not hard to replicate. So if they need someone new to just record the wahoos and the yippies, they can find someone who can match his voice probably pretty easily. When Super Mario Brothers Wonder was first revealed, there was a lot of conversation around is Charles Martinet voicing Mario because a lot of people thought that Mario's voice sounded different. Personally, I didn't hear that. It sounded just like the same old Mario voice to me. <laughs> 
also as someone like Charles Martinet ages, again he's 67 years old, your voice ages too. Like listen to The Simpsons now compared to when it first came out. There is such a major difference. So even if Mario's voice sounds different in that game, it doesn't mean that Charles Martinet is not the voice behind it. And honestly I think the fact that it sounds a bit different, at least according to some people again, I think it sounds the same, is actually more of an indication that it's Charles Martinet because if they were recasting it they would try to get it as close as possible. And no, Chris Pratt is not the one taking over. I'm sure Charles Martinet does not come cheap these days with how long he's been doing the Mario voice, but Chris Pratt is one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. He's not going to be voicing lines for some 2D platformer from Nintendo. Because as much as having Chris Pratt in the role of Mario for the Mario movie brings people in, I don't think the same is true for a Mario game. Yeah, this is not Kiefer Sutherland taking over the role of Solid Snake. Not at all. And then we have, please keep an eye out for a special video message from Shigeru Miyamoto and Charles himself, which we will post at a future date. So that'll be interesting to see. I do wonder what they're going to say in that video message that they haven't already said here. Maybe they'll shed some light on who will be voicing Mario in the future, or if they just have a bunch of recorded voices already. Or they could at least clear up what the situation is with Super Mario Bros. Wonder, because that's the next Mario game that's coming out. So I could see this video being posted in the the next week or so. It kind of feels like it's a <laughs> little bit like your parents getting divorced. I'm picturing Shigeru Miyamoto and Charles Martinet like sitting on the same couch next to each other like and saying, yeah, we're not together anymore, but just because we're not together anymore doesn't mean we won't love you anymore and doesn't mean we won't make Mario games for you anymore. I'm bracing myself for that <laughs> a little bit. The fact that they're going out of their way to record a video message in addition to this tweet does make me feel like there's a bit more to say outside of this topic. I'm not saying that they're gonna announce another game there or something, but we could see some news not related to a new game, but just related to Nintendo in general coming out of this. It's crazy when you think about it, but this is the biggest shakeup there's ever been to the voice of a video game character. Because not only is Mario the most popular video game character in the world, but also the same person has been voicing him for well over 20 years. Years. The closest equivalent would probably be Sonic, but Sonic's voice actor has changed like five times since he started having a voice. So as far as things go, this is kind of unprecedented. Uh, before I end the video, I just want to tell a personal anecdote uh, of an interaction I actually had with Charles Martinet a few years ago. It was 2021. I went to AwesomeCon, which is basically Washington, D.C.'s version of Comic-Con, and Charles Martinet was there. He had a panel, I think, which I didn't go to, but he did have a booth set up where he was autographing things and shaking hands and saying hi, like a lot of these guests do at these Comic-Con-type conventions. And so it was getting towards the end of the day, and there was no line for his booth anymore. More, and his booth was like on the very very end of the big row uh, so you could basically stand right next to the booth without being in the line just because it was all open area next to it and so I had like probably two or three feet of like this plastic wall in between me and him but I knew he was back there because there were like a couple people who were just leaving and like I said this was the very end of the convention uh, towards the end of the day and so they were charging I think like ten dollars for an autograph and there was one of the security guards uh, right next to the booth I said hey is Charles still there and she said yeah it's ten dollars for an autograph and I said well can I just say hi does that charge anything and she said no you get still got to pay even for that and so what I did there was that three foot plastic wall just separating me from him. I just walked and I leaned around it and I just went, hi Charles. And he like looked up at me kind of surprised, but very friendly. And he just went, hi. And I turned back around, saw the security guard and she just gave me this look like, and I just said, hey, sorry, I had to just go for it. And she was like, all right, whatever, get out of here. <laughs> So yeah, that's my uh, personal interaction with Charles Martinet. Very brief, uh, but very pleasant. So I'll look forward to seeing whatever he does in the future. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.